What's good? What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of Tony Bruce TV. I'm your host, Tony Bruce, and today we're going to have a brief discussion on why you should leave your comfort zone right after the intro. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we back. I'd like to welcome everybody to another episode of Tony Bruce TV. I'm your host, Tony Bruce. Connect with me on Instagram at Tony Bruce TV, and I'm on Facebook at Tony Bruce Music. If you like the content we're sharing on this channel, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and punch that notification bell. If you feel like this information can help anybody in your circle, make sure you share that with them also. I drop videos twice a week. So you can come to this channel and get that juice. Those that are new to the channel, like I said, this is Tony Bruce TV. On this channel, we give out tips, advice, and tools to help you along on your creative journey. This is uh, pretty much for my content creators, whether you are a photographer, songwriter, producer, engineer, whatever the case may be, content creators. And so with that out of the way, today's discussion is why you should leave your comfort zone. Now, you know, as humans, you know, we are creatures of habit. And a lot of times we tend to get complacent and do the same things over and over. But if you want to grow, you have to venture outside of your comfort zone. Most times what we most fear doing is what we most need to do. So that comfort zone, you know, being in your familiar surroundings, around your familiar friends all the time. But you're only going to grow so far in those particular environments or around those particular people as far as you've already gotten. If you want to get further, you're going to have to step out of that box, so to speak, step out of that circle and network with other people, you know, and also you need to experiment and experience new experiences, you know, um, by experimenting with new things and new activities, you'll be experiencing new or you'll be having new experiences and that's going to help your mind, your soul and your creative energy because it's going to give you more, more creative stimuli more things to talk about, more things to add to your idea pool. Like for instance, uh, say you're a singer, say you're a singer with the right image, your vocals are fire, and you can dance. You also write your own songs, but you tend to have stage fright. So sure, you will see some success, but in order to get major success, you're gonna have to tour, you know, eventually do live shows, or eventually you're gonna have to be in front of hundreds of thousands of people, millions of people, if it, you know, when it goes to that upper echelon level. But in, in this case, having stage fright is gonna hinder that singer from reaching the top of the hill. So unless you're aiming for second place, and if that's the case, then you're on the wrong channel. So of course this channel is all about going as far as you can go. So in order to, you know, back to the singer, in order for the singer to beat that stage fright, then that singer would need to find out ways to build up their confidence when they're in front of people. However, whatever tips or tactics work for you, you know, you just find those and implement those in your strategy to get yourself more comfortable with being in front of people. And that's just the example of the singer that had stage fright. So like I said, um, leaving your comfort zone is also one of the quickest ways to grow. You know, by, like I said earlier, by facing your fears a lot of times the best things in life are on the other side of that fear. So, and that can even be leaving your social circle too as a comfort zone. Like being around the same people all the time are, you know, generally going to be the same ideas going around around the same time. Unless all the people in the circle, I guess, are on their path and everyone is learning and bringing to the information, you know, whatever. But it's always good to still network. You're going to always network with people outside of your circle that, you know, because even in your circle, it's only so much information y'all know. By networking outside of that circle, you have access to more information and so on. So you never know who could be in your, you know, in your immediate community that can help propel your career to the next level. Or maybe someone who can get you in contact with that person to get you that next contract that you need for your business. But so you'll never meet these people if you only talk to the same people, if you only go to the same places and only do the same things. So your comfort zone, I know a lot of times, like I said, we are humans, we are creatures of habit. And being in your comfort zone seems safe. You know, our brain is wired to 
keep us doing safe things. So you're going to have to use your will and your perseverance, your determination to beat that. And you so a lot of times doing that is just doing things sometimes that you feel uncomfortable with doing. Like if you are uncomfortable, like if you're more of an introvert and you feel more comfortable being in solitude or kind of being by yourself, then plan out times to where you can, you know, intentionally go to events or gatherings where there are a lot of people. I know it's a lot of craziness going on right now, so make sure you mask up. But what I mean is go to you would want to plan to go to areas to where there are going to be a lot of people present to where you can network and break the mold of speaking to other people maybe even you know if it's that bad you know maybe even rehearse to yourself in your home in front of your mirror you know, just you you know i know that seems crazy but it'll get you it'll get you in the habit of speaking and just you know pretending like someone is there it'll get you in the habit of practice you know practicing to speaking to other people just visualize someone in front of you visualize a crowd and just practice to yourself you know in your mirror you know that's just one tip but that's like i said that's just like an example for an introvert who you know may have social anxiety or whatever the case may be but just focus on leaving your comfort zone like i said that's one of the best ways to grow and experiencing new things in life will help your mind and your creative energy continue to grow and so that's my small rant on why you should leave your comfort zone the benefits are much greater than staying in your comfort zone so just remember we all about growth here on this channel if you have any tips that you feel i can go with this episode please leave that in the comment section i don't know everything i'm a student just like y'all you know we all in the classroom together and so Y'all already know, before I leave an episode, I'd like to drop a book to help y'all along on y'all journey. And the name of this book is Out of Your Comfort Zone by Dr. Emma Martlin. That's Out of Your Comfort Zone by Dr. Emma Martlin. And like I said, if you have anything in particular that you feel like can go along with this episode, any tips you wanna give out, go ahead and drop that in the comment section. If you got anything in particular you would like me to cover on this channel, let me know that in the comment section. Also, I drop videos twice a week, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you can get all the latest content. If you feel like this information can help someone in your circle, of course, make sure you share that with them also. Like I said, thank y'all for coming to another episode of Tony Bruce TV. I'm your host, Tony Bruce. Connect with me on Instagram at Tony Bruce TV and I'm on Facebook at Tony Bruce Music. So until next time, y'all remember make moves, not excuses, stay safe, and I'm out. Yeah, don't get caught in the loop. Uh. Stay the same way.